everybody wants to know how to juggle. They don't know how to get started. This series teaches you how to juggle step by step. We start with the easiest kind of juggling of all, nylon scarves. The nice thing about scarves is they move very slowly. After the scarves, we move on to bean bags. Bean bags are very forgiving. If you drop one, it just stays where it lands and doesn't run away. All you have to do is throw one from hand to hand, then you can switch two, and then you can juggle three. It's just as easy as walking or swimming or riding a bicycle. And once you learn how to juggle, you'll never forget. After you learn to juggle with bean bags, everything else is simple. For instance, juggling balls. You start with one, then move on to two, and then to three. One of the attractions of a nice colorful juggling ball is that it'll bounce back up into the pattern if you drop it. Another thing you can juggle with is juggler's rings. And again, you start with a single object. Throw it from hand to hand. After you can do one, you can switch two. After you can switch two, you can juggle three. Right, left, right, left, right, left. It's that simple. Then we move on to other objects that are linear. For instance, juggler's clubs. With juggler's clubs, you have to learn a special throw. With a nice scooping underhand motion, it flips once on this side and once on that side. Then you can do two clubs and then three. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Now after you learn how to juggle with clubs, you can move on to other linear objects. Until recently, every juggler had to build his own juggling equipment. But now, commercially available juggling clubs in many different styles are available. After you learn how to juggle with clubs, you might even want to move on to flaming torches, and we'll demonstrate that later on. The torches are dangerous, however, and you should learn the other equipment first. Then there are other things that jugglers like to manipulate. For instance, the Chinese Diablo. The Diablo is a top that spins on a string. There's also the devil stick. The devil stick consists of two hand sticks and a central spindle-shaped stick that's hit back and forth. Jugglers like to remember the great jugglers of the past. And of course, one of the great jugglers was W.C. Fields. He liked to manipulate cigar boxes. He took three boxes and turned them like this and even pulled one out of the middle and stuck it on the end. We'll show you more about that later. And of course, we'll teach you all the different things on this table step by step, starting with juggling scarves. Start juggling with one scarf. Throw across, catch down, throw across, catch down. Now you can get out your second scarf. Throw across, throw across, catch down, catch down. Throw across, throw across, catch down, catch down. Don't reach across to catch. Remember, claw like a lion. Come straight down to catch. Another thing that a lot of people do is hand scarves across. In juggling, both hands do equal work. First one, then the other, catch down, catch down. But remember, catch them in the order that you throw them. The first one you throw is the first one you catch. Now you can move on to number three. Put it on the fingertips. That's the first one you're gonna throw. When it gets up, throw the second. When it gets up, throw the third. Remember, juggling is like walking. Right? left, right, left. Now you can keep going. Every time one gets to the top, throw another. Look at the top and don't stop. You can even juggle by throwing over the top or throw two and one, two and one. Here, I'll let an expert show you how.
Start with one bean bag. Scoop it under and catch, scoop it under and catch. It should peak about a foot and a half or two feet above your shoulder on each side and you can bend your knees if it helps. The bean bag follows a figure eight path, first up on one side and then on the other. Look at the top. Now you can get out three bean bags. Make a nest on your fingertips on the hand you like the best and put number one, the first one you're going to throw, on the fingertip nest. Make a similar nest in your other hand and then throw that one bean bag from nest to nest, from fingertips to fingertips. Look at the top and keep doing it. The more you practice, the better you'll be. Scoop it under and scoop it back. Now roll the one on your subordinate hand to your fingertips. Throw the first one and then the second catch and catch. First and second catch and catch. They make a big X in the air. When the first gets up, you throw the second, but throw it equally high to the first. Now you can move on to number three. When the first gets up, throw the second. When the second gets up, throw the third. You have to roll it to your fingertips in order to throw it. Watch where number three ends up. One, two, three, stop. It ends up on the fingertips in your other hand. One, two, three, stop. But you don't have to stop. You can keep going. Every time one gets to the top, throw another one. Look at the top and don't stop. Then bring it down below your eyes. Once your shoulders are relaxed and you're juggling below your eyes, you can do tricks like the reverse cascade or two and one or two in one hand. If you drop, turn it into an opportunity for a fancy start. There's so many different patterns. Juggling with three bouncy and colorful rubber balls is just like juggling with bean bags. You do the same patterns, the cascade, the reverse cascade, and columns. You can do a few others, of course, like the yo-yo. But the greatest thing about balls is that they bounce. So you can bounce them in and out of your pattern. Bounce one, bounce two, or bounce all three. That's the cascade on the floor. One of the people who's best at juggling on the floor and juggling with balls in general is Andrew.
Whenever you start juggling something new, start with a single item. In this case, a juggling ring. With rings, you can throw a good deal higher and can reach up to catch. Your fingers point up at about a 45 degree angle. And you catch by closing your thumb to your fingers, like a lobster claw. With two rings, you make a nice high letter X, just like bean bags, only a little bit higher. One, two, catch, catch. You can reach up to throw, and you can reach up to catch. Look at the top. When the first gets up, throw the second. When you move on to three rings, it's just like three balls. The one on your fingertips is the one you throw first. Look at the top and keep going. Every time one gets up, you throw another. You can start doing tricks, like pancake flips. You can spin a ring on a ring. You can change colors on your rings. You can do all the tricks with rings that you do with balls and bean bags. It's also a lot of fun to pass rings with Now watch that last move in slow motion. Look at my right hand. I catch with my palm up and thumb pointed toward the outside, let the ring flip down and it changes color. Every one that comes out of my right hand changes color. Clubs are just like balls bean bags or rings. You start with one. Choke up on the club and throw it with a single flip from hand to hand. Scoop it under and scoop it back. It starts at a 45 degree angle and ends up at a 45 degree angle, pointed in the other direction. Now you can move to two. When the first peaks, throw the second. Look at the top and get good scoops. When you do three, the first one goes on your fingertips. Right, left, right, left. Every time one gets to the top, throw another. Then you can bring the pattern down below your eyes. 
Now stand up straight. Get good scoops from side to side. Look at the top and keep going. This is the cascade. It's just one of hundreds of juggling patterns that you can perform with clubs. John is a great club juggler. He'd like to show you a few of those patterns now in fast and slow motion. Here.